Hey there, my lovely, lovely Libras, Cross Watchers, and Channel fans. It is Lori, and I am here to do your daily reading or your general reading for you. I apologize for that. Gonna just clean the energy out here with a little Palo Santo here. Not much, doesn't need much. Cleaned it earlier with the daily reading. All right. Clean all the energy. Beautiful day. I hope everyone's happy, healthy, having some fun. We're going to clean my phone area. All right. So everything is smelling awesome. Palo Santo smells fantastic. And it is a um, blessed tree. So very sacred tree. And I only use that sparingly because it is so precious. All right, let's go ahead and get into your general reading here today. Let's start by rolling the zodiac die. Libras, you have just rolled Libra energy. Whoop, whoop. You've got strong Pisces, fantasy, dreams. Oh, man, awesome energy. Capricorn, Taurus, stability with those dreams. So you've got a great idea coming through here. Gemini and Aquarius. Oh my gosh, this energy is awesome right now. I love this. All right, so you've got the thoughts, the dreams, the ideas. You, you've got some sort of plan here. I feel that energy coming all off of you, Libras. All right, let's, now it could be other people you're dealing with, but that was the message that was coming through, okay? That's the energy coming through there. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at your overall energy for this particular message. Okay, we have the Princess of Cups, which would be the Page of Cups. Beautiful energy here. I am getting a, a message of truth and again the fantasy the dreams the thinking outside the box the creativity there's abundance here um but what i was hesitating on bringing up is that there's a sense of danger here like you you feel like there's an element of danger in what you are thinking feeling maybe it's just too progressive it could be that you just feel like it's too far outside the box but your energy is beautiful here. And I am seeing protection. Like you're being sheltered and being encouraged to keep with these thoughts. You've got someone encouraging you. Either your higher power, your spirit, um, a family member, a friend. Somebody may be encouraging you to keep going with this because you're on the right track. You're in, like, I'm hearing you're in the truth. You're on to the truth. You're, you're so close to a big something a breakthrough um creativity it's definitely creative thinking all right we're also going to look at your challenges here what's on your mind concerning the situation we'll look at your immediate future we'll also take a look at what how you feel about the situation okay how do you feel you're dealing with whatever's happening here and we'll get you your most likely outcome we will also get um, some yes or no answers, three of them, at the somewhere down the road here. I may or may not clarify the actual reading. We will get you some numerology, and we will get you some letter die at some point throughout this reading. All right, so keep that in mind in Oracle Messages too, okay? So to go with this page of cups here, let's see what uh, challenges or obstacles might be in front of you. Uh, stifling your creativity here. Oh, the princess of wands, a sibling, somebody else, a peer, an equal. Somebody who's got a strong desire to take what you have and make it their own. Oh, challenging energy here. Now, this person's driven. This person is competitive. You're not so much here, okay? You're kind of keeping quiet. You're more demure. This person is definitely fiery, passionate. And you don't have any fire signs on your zodiac die here. I do feel like this is somebody around you. Um, that If they find out what you're doing, if they find out what you're up to, they're going to want to claim it. They're going to want to take it as their own and run with it. So there's a big challenge to you right there. So 
keep it to yourself. Don't be out there talking about it with too many people, okay? I do feel like this is a peer, P-E-E-R, um, a sibling, a co-worker, even a friend, <laughs> quote, unquote, okay? Because this would not be a friend. I do feel very strongly this person here wants to take and claim what is not theirs. They're like, you don't deserve that. You're not the creative thinker. I am. I'm the one that can make things happen. So use caution with that, okay? All right, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, I did hear if this is a romantic situation, be careful. There's somebody around you that thinks you're not doing enough to make your person happy. Ooh, drama. Don't like the drama. And you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to change who you are. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to confront this person. You don't need to do anything. They, what they think and what they feel does not matter, okay? Unless they step in and actually do something, then you'll need to worry about it. But so far, they're hanging back. They're waiting to see what you're going to do. They're waiting to see if you're going to actually uh, talk about what you're creating here, what you're dreaming of. Or if your person, uh, what you're going to do with your person. Doesn't matter. And this feels like it could be at work too. Like a co-worker waiting to see if they can take the lead. Oh, man. I, you know, I don't mind competition. I don't mind competition. But this person feels too ambitious. Too, like... I almost feel like the Five of Swords energy there with them. All right, let's go ahead and see what's on your mind. What are you thinking about this situation? You just got two cards, but you got the, it looks like the uh, Wheel of Fortune. I thought so. Oh, my gosh, and the Ten of Pentacles. You just got double tens again. You got double pages, double tens. I'm not even going to tell you, but go check out your daily reading. All right, for today, same date. You, on your mind, is your stability, your long-term happiness, a sense of peace and a community. All right, you've got Virgo energy here. You've got Venus energy too. You also have the Wheel of Fortune here, Pisces energy, Saturn energy, Sagittarius. There's fiery energy. So this person could be a Sagittarius. That would be one of the fire signs or Aries or Leo. You do, no, no fire on there. All right, so you've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cup or Ten of Pentacles. This is you creating a beautiful future, long-term happiness, and you are determined to make this happen. Okay, you also feel like you were destined to have this. Like that's why you are like being encouraged by somebody here to keep going. And that all oh, that was that element of risk. This person around you, that is what that element of risk is. Now, I will say this is a dolphin here, okay? So you have some sort of playfulness. Remember to be playful. Don't take on stress or worry. Don't do that to yourself, okay? Even in this situation where there might be somebody around you trying to compete with you, if you do not have to choose to engage with that, remember that. And what's really on your mind, your future, okay? Your happiness, your stability, your long-term satisfaction. And you are determined to continue forward. Double tens. Incredible. Definitely that, that Wheel of Fortune and that Ten of Pentacles on your mind, that's huge. And again, I am feeling, hearing that you feel like this is, you were destined for this. This is where you were are supposed to be. This is what's supposed to be happening for you. All right, let's go ahead and see what's at the foundation of this situation. What is the foundation here? There's that five of swords. Oh, this is seven of swords. Okay, so at some point we had the five of swords. Somebody's removing that. I feel like the divine spirit is moving this, removing the five of swords, leaving you the opportunity to get in alignment with yourself, with your higher power, with this situation. Have the conversation only with those that you need to be speaking with and all the other stuff is being taken away. Yeah, 
All right, so the foundation is there was a five of swords at one point. There were too many people involved, too much information going out, okay? Swords represent communication, thoughts, words, um, stuff like that, okay? Definitely um, good energy here, Aquarius energy, moon energy here. We've got Aquarius on here. So thoughtful, um, thinking of the, the greater good here, Okay, so it's something to do with a lot of people benefiting from what you're planning, whereas this person, this fire energy here, it, it's more about them looking good for achieving this. Okay, so that's two totally different goals. And I'll tell you, I, I, I do not see that fire energy winning out this time. All right, let's go ahead and see what your immediate future looks like here. Ooh, look at that. You being in your ultimate power. Queen of Swords energy. Truthful, honest. honest. Look, divine protection. Okay, you have guardian angels, um, spirits. Whoa, what am I seeing there? I don't get it. I can't quite tell. But on the head, I'm looking at this object right there. Okay. I don't know if that's just a curl in their hair or if that's like a negative energy. I think it's just a curl. All right, anyways, we have divine protection here. She has taken heads. She's not, you are not taking um, anybody else's uh, BS. You're, you're being authentic. You're being real. You're facing the truth. You've got a, an agenda here. And you're going to stick with it. And I love this particular Queen of Swords. She's still in her white gown here, facing the truth, calm, not aggressive. Even though you've taken heads here, heads are rolling, whatever you want to say, um, you're not doing it in an aggressive way. You've taken your sword here from this Seven of Swords up here, strategizing and planning, and now you've put your plan out there. You're asking somebody to challenge you. Tell me, come on, do you want to get an alignment or do you want to challenge me and go at this, okay? Interesting reading here. You guys have never had one like this from me before. This is Libra. I, you guys are usually not aggressive, and this doesn't necessarily feel aggressive it, it's assertive it is definitely assertive energy here okay confidence truthfulness wanting to do something the right way the ethical way the moral way the way that makes you feel like you're benefiting not just yourself but other people and that's in direct opposition or um yeah opposition to what this other person is putting out there i think that's why you're stepping up like this I think that's why you're stepping up. And again, you're not even saying anything. Your mouth is closed here. Okay, so you're you're showing through your actions that you're not willing to let anyone bother you. You are not going to accept um, lies, gossip. No, you're not not dealing with it. You're not you're not going to respond to it. All right, let's go ahead. That's your immediate future, you being in your, um, what do you call this, your true power, reclaiming your power, sitting comfortably in your power, knowing who you are, knowing where you belong, where you fit in. You're smart. You're clear thinking. Your crown is on absolutely straight. Oh, you have, the princess here it has been crowned here. Yeah, definitely a powerful energy here. And again, that power is not coming through violence or aggression. It's coming through confidence. Confidence and, and just confidence. That's what is exuding here. All right, let's, I'm hearing somebody say, yeah, I'm pretty passive until you mess with me. Don't mess with me. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and see what the past influences were. Uh, what brought this about? What brought all of this about? Oh my gosh, are you serious? Look at this, the justice card, you, okay? You missed seeing something in the past. Ah, ah, 
You were trying to be fair, balanced, friendly with everybody, keeping the peace, you know, doing that thing that Libras do. Um, however, you missed something here. You missed an opportunity and you are telling yourself you're not going to do that again. And you can still go forward and go after what you want and keep that balance. Okay, absolutely. Keep the peace and the harmony. You don't have to engage in arguments. No, absolutely not. You don't have to put anyone in their place. No. This is literally about just yourself. Focusing on yourself. Queen of Swords is Libra energy. And here are the justices. Libra energy. Um, and I don't care if you're male or female. Okay. Or how you identify. This is about you. The Libra. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and look at um, how you're viewing yourself in this situation. Both of the cards of authenticity here are already out, so I wonder what's going to come out here for you. How are you viewing yourself in this situation, my lovelies? Ten of Swords, like you are ready for this to be over. You have taken enough. You're going to close the door on this. Ten of Swords, okay? Yeah, um, I'm here. It says ruin on here, okay? R U I N, ruin. So I'm hearing somebody's plans. They're falling to pieces, okay? It's not going to happen here. You are confident that you have gotten more than enough wisdom to end this cycle. You've got an 11 here, and then if you add the sword from the justice card to the 10 swords here, that's 11 swords. So you have 1-1, one, 1-1, one, one, one. 11, 11, a stability, alignment, harmony, achieving your goals, stability. All right, so you've got more than enough. You're confident, confident here. What's happening in your environment? We have Prudence, the Eight of Pentacles. I love how cards come out, repeat cards come out in different readings for the same day. Absolutely love it. Your efforts are paying off, okay? So there is a sense of you getting to shine because you're putting the effort in here. This is your baby. This is your thing. Nobody's taking your credit here. I love that. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love this. You're shining. Your hard work is paying off. You, your ability to keep quiet. Your ability to sit comfortably in your authority, knowing who you are. Virgo energy here. Stability. Okay? And it's paying off. What you put your effort and time and thought processes into is paying off. This is your environment. All right. Let's go ahead and see what else we've got going on here. Love it when the cards just go everywhere. Okay, you've got seven of cups here. All right. Somebody, their success went up in smoke. Okay. It says illusory, illu, illusionary success. Sorry, I had it the first time. Um, but it's not you, it's them. You've got multiple opportunities in front of you because you took charge. You made it clear what you were going to do. These are opportunities for you, unsuccessful um, for this other person, whoever tried to take credit for your, your work or wanted to um, steal your person or get in between you and your bestie. I don't know. Whatever this person was after, you kept yourself to yourself. You stayed authentic and true. You kept your eye on your future. Okay, on your absolute end game. All right, let's see what the most likely outcome is. If you stay this course, what is your most likely outcome here? Don't forget, if this message is resonating with you, tickle, tab, boop, or zap that like button. Claim it in the comments, okay? And if you are a returning viewer and you have um, not yet subscribed, I'm inviting you to do so. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. Um, I hope you find something that does bring you back in the future. Either way, if you're one of my re returning viewers or if you're a new viewer, everybody is always welcome here and I appreciate each and every one of you immensely. Okay? All right. 
Let's go ahead and see what your most likely outcome is going to be here. The Tower. Oh, a surprise ending. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I got to point this out. The Ten of Wands. Oppression is in the reverse here on the bottom of the deck. So there's a surprise that's going to lift a burden from you. Absolutely beautiful energy. Scorpio energy here. Somebody is going down, but there's a, I get that this is a good surprise. This is a blessing in disguise here. All right. Um, let me hang on just a sec. All right. I think we are going to get you a little bit more information here. Let's go ahead and see what the uh, page of wands is here. Now, see, I feel like this person is really ambitious. They're young. They're naive. They're, they're not quite mature yet. Um, yeah. And I think they want to ride your claim your success because they're trying to break free. All right. That's what it is. I'm, I am hearing, though, that if this is at work, if this is at work, what you might find out is that they are let go. They are let go. They may do something that you don't know anything about here. If this person was after your person, you may not even know about this, but your person may have told them off. Like, nope, see ya, go away, not interested. I've got what I'm looking for. So that's why I say a lot of times don't stress yourself out, especially if you don't know if anything's happening because your person, if they're with you, they want to be with you, okay? It's when we start acting insecure and jealous um, of our person that that's when we ruin relationships. So don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself. Your person, if they're with you, they're with you for a reason. All right, let's go ahead and look at this Ten of Pentacles Wheel of Fortune energy here. So for them to be taken out of your life without you even knowing it, that's great. Now, others of you, this person may still work with you, may still be a friend, um, but it's going to be a different um, relationship from this point forward. All right, let's go ahead and see what the Ten of Pentacles and Wheel of Fortune is. All right, Strength. Yes, definitely, because you trust yourself. You have confidence. You have courage. You have bravery. You know what you want out of life, and you're going after it. But you're not stepping on toes here. You're counting on people to be there for you because you are there for people. This is equal give and take. Trust, okay? This is the difference between that person and you. And that's why you feel like this is what is meant to happen. All right, let's go ahead and look at the Seven of Swords here. Got too many cards. I did see the World card, the Nine of uh, Swords, or the, yeah, Nine of Swords and the Seven of Swords was actually there. All right, let's go ahead and see what we have here with the Seven of Swords that's on the table, please. The lovers. Yes, yeah, see, this is about getting in alignment, making healthy decisions. Remember, I said the divine, somebody was taking away this five of swords energy, this com competitor out of the game. Keeping things to yourself, okay? Getting in alignment. Here it is right there. The lover's card. Alignment. Making the right choices. Talking to only that person that you need to connect with. Trusting your divine intuition here and trusting yourself. Boy, oh boy, is that awesome energy there. Look at this. Do you see that you have the lover, the fool, and the strength card with the wheel of fortune right here? The, and justice and the tower. That's one, two, three, four, five, six major arcana on the table right now. Six major arcana already and you only have a few cards out here all right so look at this unbelievable repeated cards here things have to change you've got the five of swords or five of cups i'm sorry 
Five of Cups clarifying this Queen of Swords. So when you step in your power and you set those changes in motion, there's always going to be sadness, regret, spilled cups, things that, you know, we wish we'd done differently. People are going to be a little bit upset. The party's over, okay? But there is alignment here. Two of Cups goes with the lovers, getting in alignment, making healthy choices. Definitely a much better scenario heading in here here due to your truthfulness, your honesty, your ability to stand firm in who you are and look at what is on the bottom of the deck there. Oh my gosh, look at this. Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck now gives you three tens. The Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Wheel of Fortune yet again. Go watch your daily message here. You've got double sevens here. That is just incredible. I mean, just incredible, okay? But you have the Wheel of Fortune, and you also have the Nine of Cups showing in the slip of the deck. I, di I didn't even split it. It slipped out there. All right, so this is good. This is very, very good. Let's look at the Justice card here. Whew. So these regrets change from regrets, from sadness over things that are not the way they are. Things have to change. And when they do, it brings in the Two of Cups. Happiness, alignment, uh, equal give and take. Two of Cups. That's the Knight of Cups mirroring, okay? Let's look at the Justice energy here. I feel like there's a card already flipped over here somewhere. Maybe I'm seeing the card before it even flips. Clarification of the Justice card. What are we going to find out here? High Priestess. Okay, that's funny. You just got the Justice and the High Priestess together yesterday, day before. I think is your outcome. You've got the you've got the blindfold on. Okay. You trusted the thing, something to go the way you thought it would. You were trying to be fair and balanced without, um, without bias, is what I'm hearing. Without prejudice. However, you know when you look at the whole situation, not just the current um, energy here or just the past energy or just what would happen in the future, you're taking it all in, the past, the present, and the future, and you're sitting down with this and making peace, okay? So whatever happened here in the past that you missed, you're now comfortable with where things are at because you're sitting on your own throne here as the Queen of, of Swords. Look at you, sitting down, taking control, comfort. Divine connection for sure. Being compassionate, friendly, caring, loving, okay? Seeing the wonder in the world again. Looking for the connections with people. Yeah, you gained wisdom here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, you had the Hermit and the King of Wands there. All right, let's go ahead and see what is happening here with this Ten of Swords. What can we learn about this Ten of Swords here? I just realized you've got the three tens again. And this time you've got, what, double sevens. You had double fives. Oh, my gosh. So we saw four tens here. Incredible energies coming through for your readings, Libras. Incredible energy that has been coming through today. All right, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. You've got the Seven of Cups, which is right next to this, and the Ace of Cups, which is the Eight of Cups, leaving it behind you. There's opportunity here, okay? No longer is it an, an illusory, um, illusionary success for this person over here. No, this is for you. This is you in this energy. This is how you are viewing yourself. Fresh start, new beginnings, alignment, peace, harmony. 
divine guidance, divine support, okay? And opportunities, mega opportunities here. You're using your wisdom, definitely using your wisdom. Any confusion there might have been is over with. You're leaving that behind because the one Ace of Cups and the Seven of Cups, that's eight cups. Look at that, the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck again. Um, so you're leaving something behind. And because it's clarifying the Ten of Swords there, which was somebody else's, um, you're taking the wisdom to overcome. You're leaving that person in the dust. That situation in the dust. Look at that. Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Truth, clarity, understanding. Let's take a look at this Eight of Pentacles here, please. Look at that. If this is at work and somebody has tried to take your credit, the boss sees your efforts, okay? You may end up with a, a pay raise, a promotion. You're going to be sitting pretty. And I'm, this is definitely working out in your favor, okay? That may be what you don't see coming to. How big your efforts are going to actually pay off here. Let's look at this uh, Seven of Cups that's here. Please, let's look at this Seven of Cups. What is this here? What more can we learn here? Nine of Wands. Oops. And Seven of Swords. Okay, so you never gave up. You fought until the last battle. And in the last battle, I'm hearing, you see help coming. Okay, so Divine Providence. Divine intervention, divine guidance, a co-worker, a boss coming in here and saying, recognizing all the efforts you put in and what maybe this person was doing or this team was doing. You've got a strategy and a plan now, okay? You're in alignment again. Look at this. All of that was taken away. All of that five of swords energy gone, that fighting tooth and nail, um, yeah, you're now protected. Four of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Let's see if we can learn a little bit more about this tower. Oh boy, surprise endings. Surprise endings. And this feels good. Okay, so don't fear this tower. I feel like this is really good. Let's see if there's anything more that Spirit wants to tell you about this tower. I'm hearing nope. It's a surprise ending. <laughs> You'll have to defend whatever it is that comes from this. You will have to defend it. All right, because what comes right before the seven of, of wands? There's your surprise. Six of wands, success, elevation, recognition, promotions, pay raises, um, marriages, contracts. Something good is coming your way. Your efforts, or efforts with the eight of pentacles is paying off. And you get the Six of Wands, and now the surprise. Whatever the surprise is, you will have to keep it. You will have to learn how to hang on to it, how to stand up and keep what it is you want. And all you have to do is be yourself. Look at that Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Think clearly. Here, Keep your um, relationship open to your divine. Keep balanced. Keep your passion Keep your head, look at that, look at that, the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. So there's a partnership, there's a blessing, there's an elevation here. Something really good is coming out of that tower. That is beautiful. I'm going to roll a couple of uh, letter dying now, but I will continue with the other things that we do for the general readings afterwards. So stick around for that. Whoa, that rolled all over the place. Kevin, KJ, Tracy, Katie, Caitlin, Betty, Teresa, Terry, Thad, Theodore, Velveteen, Beverly, Buddy. 
Canute, Canute, June, Jackie, Jack, Taj, Zeta, Zeta, Zena, Ziva, Bitly, Bitner, Becky, Bacall, James, Jill, Ginger, Yin, China, Kevin, Biltmore, Xander, Warren, Jowl, Jow, I can't say that. Jowly, J Jolene, oh my gosh, Jowly and Jolene, Jazzy, CJ, Siraj, Raj, Puma, Hopi, Hippo, Gondola, Florida, F, you, sorry, it's there. I don't know. I, I, I'm hearing foo, foo, but it's coming out with those letters. All right, so player, Perry, Presley, Wesley, Wayne, Violet, WW, Weekly, Renee, JJ, Bobby, oh, excuse me, Doby, Donna, Don, Davida, Darcy, David, Dune, Dak, Dak, Dak. D-A-C-K, Dak. Clark. I don't know why Bivouac comes out so often, but it does. Bivouac is here. Macy, McConnell, McDonald, McBowen, Brown, B.B. Scott, Skyler, Tatiana, Talisha, Teleme, Clemson, Clooney, Cleaver, Dullivan, Talker, Loretta, Lynette, Lulu, Livia, Livy and Buddy. All right, let's see what else we've got going on. Let's get some num numerology out here for you. All right. If you are new here and you don't know anything about the letter die, whatever comes out, comes out from spirit, from the beyond, from the collective consciousness. If it made sense to you, if you heard a name you know and you're thinking about that person or a place or thing, then uh, see why you're thinking about that, okay? If it doesn't make any sense to you whatsoever, then it just doesn't, it just means it wasn't meant for you. So leave that for whoever it is meant for, okay? All right, let's see what numerology we have here for you. 1551, hold your vision. And that's exactly what you're doing through this whole thing. You are manifesting exactly what you want. You're bringing in the abundance, the money, your dreams, visions, and prosperity. Focus on the good and maintain your concentration on the outcomes that you desire. Your Ten of Pentacles there, your long-term satisfaction. Do not focus on the negative. It is time for you to put your faith and your time into your ideas and pursue your goals with everything you have. 
You are a beautiful and courageous and brave spirit. So keep going. All right. Go ahead and get you your yes or no answers here, and then we'll go on to some oracle messages. First yes or no answer is yes. You are being reborn from the ashes, rising like the phoenix. This unexpected situation of a previous stage ending and your openness to everything new is bringing you in luck, the wheel of fortune, empowerment, and the generous rewards of destiny. Mm, I love it. You will be the center of attention for some time to come. Remember what I said? Six of wands is maybe your surprise there. That success being the center of attention. Enjoy your accomplishments. Enjoy your accomplishments. What you have done. Acknowledge how you, what you've done. Give yourself credit for what you've created. Beautiful. Answer number two. Yes or no. What have we got now? We have a no answer. The hurricane of passion is subsiding. You can see the true state of things clearly now. You open your heart to many different opportunities, okay? You are what can crush the coal into sparkling diamonds, all right? So keep that in mind. You can take a bad situation and make it beautiful. You can take your wisdom see the opportunity, and change it into something beautiful. That's what that Pisces energy is all about. Dreaming, creating, and it's beneficial to more than just yourself. That's what's so beautiful about this energy of what you're creating here, what you're doing. It's not simply about yourself. All right, let's see what your third and final yes or no answer is here. We have a no. It says, behind every mountain that you've climbed, there will always be another mountain to conquer. The way is clear, okay? But there is some sort of uncertainty that has not yet been lifted. When the winds of change fill you with the energy needed to ascend the mountain, you will realize there is no mountain too high and no problem too hard to overcome. I love that. Love it. Let's see what we have here for you. We're going to get you a wisdom of the fairy oracle message. Right away, we have the fairy lovers. There is new love, courtship, romance, falling in love, and it's a 10. Now you have all four 10s out on the table. Love that. Man, unreal. These 10s, these 5s, these 7s coming out here for you. All right, so what do we have here? Oh, new love. Enchanting and all important. It is like breath food, or water. We fall in love, and all the world is lovely to us. We radiate a dense kind of golden glow. Our brain activity changes. We find it hard to sleep and eat, and our chakras are wide open and spinning and spinning. Our cells sing to our beloved, and oh, how we pine for them, even to be with them for a moment. We think of them all the time for the, that is the next best thing to being with them all the time. Didn't you guys just get this card? You did. New love can be stronger than the will to live and finding love can give us the desire to live forever with our beloved. It is not the same as mere lust or desire. Uh, 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 it's totally different. This is altogether more necessary for our existence than either lust or desire, splendid though they are. When we fall in love, we experience euphoria, bliss, and rapture on such levels that to return to a normal state seems unnatural, wrong, and like we are denying of our love. Our chemistry changes and our dopamine levels fire up, leaving us feeling like we are about to receive the greatest gift possible. 
and we are. Love is sweet, and it is powerful, and it is nectar to our own divinity. All right, so some of you may be about to fall in love. It could be falling in love with a human being. It could be falling in love with a principle, an idea, a belief, a new friend, and just falling in love. Those, all that dopamine firing through our bodies. Absolutely love that. All right, let's see what else we've got here. Yeah, and it feels like this energy. That you know how it feels when you succeed. Everything feels awesome and wonderful, and we feel connected, and we feel like everything's right in the world and the universe. That can be what that energy is right here for you, too. Courtship. I mean, uh, a company looking to hire you, woo you over to them. All right, a new friend who's saying, wow, I really love the energy you put out. Come hang out over here with us. What have we got here? Hibernation and regeneration. Yeah, you're definitely going to need a break after all this excitement. <laughs> definitely. Let's see what we have here. Oh, my goodness. Hibernation and rejuvenation. Rejuver. Rejuvenation. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's see what we have here. Sometimes you just need to pull back from the world for a little while. Rest, regroup, recharge, so that you can return stronger and more capable of dealing with whatever waits for you outside of your cave. Um, did I just turn too far? This card may be suggesting that you haven't been taking enough time to be quiet and alone. You will want to after this situation. Do you need to take a break from stressful people or situations or, you know, maybe the internet even? It can be hard to carve out time for ourselves, but burning the candle at both ends just leaves you with a burnt out candle. Now, keep in mind that may be what you need to do to keep your peace here, to not let these things get to you. Even five minutes to take a, a meditation spell, breathing deeply, just focusing on ourselves can help you immensely. You don't have to go into hibernation, but you might want to take a walk or just sit outside or play in the dirt for a little while. All right, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Anything else here, Spirit? I think that's it. Don't forget, if you're interested in a personal reading, email me, get in my calendar now. Things are starting to fill up. I love you guys. My email address is below every single video. All right, so until our energy crosses again, I'm going to wish you much peace, love, and happiness. Email me for a personal reading, tickle tap, boop, or zap. Love you guys.